Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth Eden Run. I'm excited. We've had some samey runs, we've had some weird runs. Ooh, teleport 1 HP. Which fly is this? Show yourself. Is that Best Bud Sworn Protector? It must be, right? I wanted to teleport straight past these big rooms. This is a fucked up seed, man. <laughs> I'll show this. Well, I guess I already showed the seed. I just didn't actually uh, speak it, so it's not internalized. That's okay. That's okay. These flies are fucked. These friends are so far as a fly is an ancient beast drowned in tar. Ah, that didn't quite well. Okay, it is Swarm Protector there. Ill advised. Dan Behar reference there. That aside, this is actually like we're alive. Doing relatively well. Not surprised that we took a little bit of damage there. Uh, and man, this just is not pulling any punches at all. This is a, a very, very unfriendly seed. Let's put it that way. We uh, shouldn't die before the boss room at least, but there's another like tall room. Hopefully we can just pick up a half heart in the meantime, or maybe like anything that gives us more survivability on this item room. The one thing I will say is thank you very much for giving us uh, at least decent damage, decent rate of fire. Like, it's not incredible. That's really nice. It's not like we are we already have, like, the effectiveness of the pentagram or something like that on top of normal tiers. But it's good. It's at least not bad. Let's put it that way. The bean is... I, I like it more than teleport. I don't think it's a good item. But I don't think teleport is a good item either. And I think being able to use the bean uh, every, every room could be meaningful. Well... This Tinted Rock, a lot of my hopes and dreams rest on it. And the fact that it paid out with even one Spirit Heart is very, very meaningful. Fudge off, dog. I don't want to deal with your horse hockey today. I also want to wait for my life to be over. What are you doing? Are you seeing this? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. That guy was doing some, some footwork that I've never seen before. And I was trained by Gregory Hines in the art of the dance taps. All right, we, uh, we're gonna live. It's looking increasingly likely that uh, our future contains life. I'm excited about this. I'm happy about it. I would very much like... Uh, oh my fucking god, you... Oh. Literally the... Okay, I guess we don't need the sign out of Skype. Literally the, uh, the five minutes in between episodes was spent watching an episode, or like five minutes of an episode of this TV show called Sports Science with Rob to determine once and for all if it is a good idea to just put a really large man in net if you're if you're playing hockey. Turns out that, well, you know, it was a kind of unconclusive. I don't know if they did the most rigorous research here, but they put two, they put like a sumo wrestler and then one guy in a suit that approximated his weight to be 500 pounds and uh, still like one of the worst NHL players in history was able to consistently score. No offense meant to George Peros, but that's the easiest way to describe him to someone who doesn't know hockey. Okay, we have a little bit of HP. We got a little bit of money, and we got one key, which is a recipe for possibly being able to get something from the shop that may well allow us to freaking live here, which would be very nice. I would be excited by this. I feel, oh, I like this music. Like, let's say fuck the boss rush and just crank the music up and pretend this is like who wants to be a millionaire. Northern Lion, you have one choice to make. Do you stick with the bean? Or do you take Black Candle? 60 seconds on the clock. All right, I'm actually going to take, by Blank Candle, I mean Blank Card also. Um, let's... Turn that down there. I'm gonna stick with, uh, well, I'm gonna not stick with, I'm gonna take blank card. I think it's much more meaningful for us in the long term. I would love to get either that black heart or that uh, spirit heart, neither of which are, or that tinted rock for that matter, neither of which are really available, to me at least. Let's go back and look for the secret room, because if I could buy a key with my, uh, Remaining two cents and then whatever we get in the secret room. I would love to I was kind of hopeful We can get into the second secret room there, but it doesn't appear that that's gonna be possible Really should not have shot that even if it was just for shits and giggles puberty not so bad. I can see forever 
Could be good. Bad trip, really? You can't do me dirty like that. Well, we still have a second secret room. We are on one HP again. There's not that much I could have done to prevent it. And, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, that was closer than I wanted to admit. Full health. Range up. Tears up. Oh, we gotta go full health in case we get like a health up pill. That couldn't contain anything. Man, this is gonna be a wild one. Certainly not an easy one. Yet, it could become an easy one. Oh my god. Not even with like uh, that much of mental gymnastics required. All we need is one really good card, and all of a sudden this run becomes pretty simple. Like one Hierophant card is basically a one run as far as I'm concerned. Don't, I got fucking flashbacks to what you guys did to me or your what your brother did to me. And what did your brother do? Spider giving me the soft shoe. Obviously we, how many, this sets the record for like the fastest uh, time we've taken to get to like five spacebar items. It's not a record that's really hotly contested. You get the idea though. Okay, good stuff. Are we gonna, f uh, we're gonna fight, fight the boss, man. We gotta fight the boss right now. I We got very lucky, by the way, that we fought the Widow and Pin. Like, that clearly could have gone, you know, Fistula Haunt, and then we'd probably be in a much more difficult position. I'm not gonna say necessarily that we're gonna be dead. You know, I'm gonna give myself some credit. We have some experience in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, I hope we wouldn't roll over and just, you know, die. But we wouldn't really have that much of a choice if we were fighting super difficult enemies. But, uh, well, super difficult relative to the point of the game we're at, at least. Pin is uh, much more our speed, though. An easy enemy. A very good chance for us to uh, pick up some momentum and maybe a deal with the devil that can make this all go away. Or uh, a qualification for a deal with the angel on the next floor. There is one HP. We can use full health. I gotta try. As far as I'm concerned, at least, I've got that's another full health pill and like explosive diarrhea. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I've gotta try for our... Um, Deal with the devil precedent. It's the most sure path that I know to success. I liked having two HP temporarily. It scares the shit out of me that we that we don't have two HP anymore. Uh, I could have gone with the Book of Sin. That's true, but I think uh, Demon Baby a little bit more useful and Blank Card. I don't want to get rid of it. Like Book of Sin could have been useful short term, but I think long term you're probably looking at Blank Card. That doesn't mean you know long term decision making gets. It's overrated, man. If, like, thinking... Oh, God, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, thank God. Uh, Short-term thinking might be better for us. Because if the if we're not going to live in the long term, then all we have is the short term. And the short term can help us extend our lives to the long term. You got something to say, Ruka? You busted into my room. You better have something to say. Oh, God, it's so good. Okay, pin again. The fade pick up there is not a game winner by itself. However, the extra HP is extremely nice. And on top of that, there is that uh, area back there where there was a tarot card. And that tarot card, if good, combined with blank card, could give us the win. But this is a win that I feel, I, well, I shouldn't talk about it as if it's won yet, but it's it's a run that as of right now has had more strife than like a lot of the runs that we've ended up winning. So I almost feel like it's deserved already. Deserved, if you will. Oh, don't run into the fire, that can still kill you, or at the very least take away your eternal heart. It's a decent amount of money. I uh, probably shouldn't do this room yet. Don't let this room be the death of me, please. Good stuff, good stuff, okay. We're in a great position. You're on the hunt, buddy? What do you... Got something in here? It's just me. I've showered already today. I shouldn't be very stinky in here. Maybe you're smelling that delicious uh, Dove body wash for adult males or whoever chooses to use it, I guess. Um, strength and Wheel of Fortune. Once every four rooms, strength is not that bad. So I was going to look for the uh, the secret room. I think it's fairly likely to be like right down there. And you know what? I think with Demon Baby we don't need to use a bomb here. Like we haven't really improved our damage. I think we might literally have not improved our damage at all. But um, 
This is still okay. Yeah, once every four room strength is almost like having a, an Empress card. Not an Empress. Yeah, like an Empress card once every four rooms. Almost. I think it's a little worse. We could always buy a Spirit Heart here. I think there are worse things to purchase. Uh, but first, let's put down Wheel of Fortune. Play it once. Blow it up. Play it once because we're at five cents anyway. Not a secret room, but at least we get Rusted Key. And then we can take Blank Card... And nine minutes to start with here. Blank card strength. It's at least acceptable. And then we'll head down. And honestly, I'm pretty proud of the way that this has gone. We could easily have been dead, but instead we uh, we pulled out of it. Yeah, I'll go through with this. It helps to have an opportunity to, like, you know, use the strength card for a good purpose here right at the start. And our damage is actually not that bad with the strength card. It's like, you know, shitty Book of Belial. But at least it's something. It's, it's certainly, I would rather have a strength card once every four rooms than four uses of the bean, I think. I had to think about that one a little a little more closely, but I think that's how it turns out. How do, we, how do I like our chances here? Well, we're one bad room away from a very quick death. However, we also have the ability to fly. That's big. Like, enormous. Huge potential upside in the future uh, via... Blank card as well. We don't know what that's going to be. That could be blank card hero font. It could be blank card Joker. It could be blank card chaos card. I'll leave you to you know sort out your own rankings of those. That spirit heart very very worthwhile. Very uh, appreciated right now. Nine mushrooms for the cost of a single bomb is really good if you ask me. Two puberty pills and a liberty cap. We're gonna stick with rusted key. I take liberty cap too much, uh, but honestly, this is just a situation where I think that rusted key is probably just better. I need keys. A little close. Unhappy to admit. Uh, yeah, explode like right there. Okay, right here then. Uh, all the, except right here. Kind of botched it a little bit. I like these two mushrooms right here. And we got one pill. I don't know what it is yet. Ouija board. Well, we basically, you know, hobbled together our, our own spirit of the night. Balls of steel. Turned out to be a good choice there. Pretty much random chance. Maybe it was a bad choice. Maybe magic mushroom is available in one of those mushrooms, but I got unlucky and only got balls of steel for a few measly uh, extra spirit hearts. Just going to save the uh, strength card until we encounter a room that really seems to warn it. You know what? This room might really seem to warn it. And if we don't have a strength card for a boss fight, it's not like we can't, uh, you know, continue. We should still probably be fine, considering that's the way that we've been... Fighting every boss since the dawn of fucking time. But it's all for naught anyway, because we got the battery charge right after. Oh, I really, really wanted to get out of the way of that one. Old bandage paid out with a red heart that is unlikely to be useful. We should keep in mind that, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to be buying anything anyway. For obvious reasons. Uh, that hurts again. Luckily, we got that balls of steel pill. However, if we could get a uh, five cents so we have a blood bank chance on the next floor, that would be very nice. Because with Old Bandage, we have a little bit more reliability to play those Blood Banks. Gotta think about it when I want to use Strength here. Because the boss room now is getting a little closer. But honestly, what's harder, man? Four Bonies or a... Like a Hollow Fight or a Husk Fight? Could very well be the... The Husk Fight. Or sorry, it could very well be the Bonies is what I meant to say. Bad trip, huh? Uh, we'll take Blank Card Strength. Unfortunately, kind of struck out there. No consumables at all. But a, a chance. Not a good chance, but a chance at a deal with the devil nonetheless. Let's give it a try. Look, I didn't, I, I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious of myself with the amount of uh, accuracy I have predicting what's happening on this floor. However, this is just uh, an educated guess that ended up working out for us. And meat, I'll take it. We need the HP uh, more than we need the damage right now, but that's it is what it is. If you're wondering why I lost HP as soon as I left the floor, it was the strength card wearing off, not some invisible deal with the devil that you missed. Never fear. I was... I was caught off guard for a moment as well. Now, this this guy's creating creeps, so we shouldn't explode into bullets or anything like that. We're still... You know, <laughs> we're in need. We could use uh, a lot of things. HP's adequate. Blank card synergy is okay. Could certainly be a lot better. But I, I have faith that it'll get better. Could use some consumables because, you know, tinted rocks like that one over there that I'm not actually able to use. Come on. Could have an arcade here, though. And that could be a start. That could give us the... Oh, Jesus! That could give us the money we need to buy stuff from the shop. 
Who knows, man? Black Candle, never get a curse again. That'll that'll soften this run up a little bit. And this floor, if we don't botch it, like our destiny is still very much within our own hands here. If we don't botch it, there's a real deal with the Devil Chance here. Not quite a hundred if we don't take uh, if we don't take damage from a red heart damage, but it's it's up there, man. I actually think that this is a fairly yeah. Let's go back and get that tinted rock. But I think that this is a fairly good situation to actually use our strength card. Get an extra two plays out of the blood bank. Ended up only giving us money, no uh, old bandage payouts, but that's okay. Please don't kill me when I walk out of the room. It shouldn't work like that. Yeah, it just takes an HP off the top. That's probably the smarter way to handle it. Could have been dangerous. We're at 26 cents. No keys, but we can always use some of our 26 cents to gamble for more keys. If we have to. This is a, this is a run where, you know, you can't take your, uh, your foot off the gas. We're in a... And in other various sports cliches, we're in tight here. You know, fighting for 8th position against a team. It's really a battle about who wants it more, the game or me. I'm happy we reached a dead end, so in my mental map I can sort of be like, Oh yeah, don't go up or right anymore. That won't be necessary. Head down and to the left here. I didn't think there were any other exits there, so that's probably another... Uh, like, that's probably the uh, the genesis of the branch that has the dead end. Two, three hits. Three hits. Man, sometimes at this point in a run, you'll be one-hitting these enemies. So this is a little... A little rich. We got some work to be done. But this is our deal with the devil floor here. Hopefully. Hopefully we cash out a little bit better than we did with Demon Baby. Worked out. Worked out. Uh, we do have that Eternal Heart. I just don't want to take it until I can... Be sure that I don't want to play the Blood Bank anymore. Desperately need some keys as well. I mean, we need everything. Whatever the game wants to give us, I'm happy to have. So we'll remember to come back in that direction. How many big rooms can you have on one floor? Like, every single room is connected to a big room in one way or the other here. It's getting a little ridiculous. I'm a little unhappy about it. Is that a, it's a boss room, so we can visit that. We can take some advantage of the fact that we lost all of our HP on that uh, Blood Bank. Some advantage beyond, you know, the financial gain that we already have and there's our key which we'll probably actually use on the shop instead of the item room and just hope we don't fight greed and there's another key so now we can actually go to our shop and let's pop this right away uh, I don't really want to fight Chubb without using bombs at the same time I don't really want to use any bombs because we only have two of them and actually with the strength card we took him out fairly quickly after Chubb we have husk bloat peep yeah one of these days you'll get it right peeps a little tricky uh, since we can fly, he can't control the space as well as he normally does, but the hitbox on the eyes always fucks me up, man. This guy's like my worst nightmare if I only have half a red heart left. Especially once the eyes start, you know, colliding with one another. That's the end of my happy day. But, uh, we're doing well here. This is going fine. Got inside a little bit there, and there we go. We got hit twice. Yep, that's why I should never, uh... Never act like you're doing well against Pete, man. And we're actually up to our third key here, which is awesome. Okay. Still got a spirit heart, though. Still got that roughly 50% crack at a deal with the devil. If we can, like, blow up a beggar or something, we could make it even better. Don't want to pick that up just yet. Well, I think we'll pick it up not on the way back, but we'll we'll do some stuff now so I don't forget. Mr. Boom, man. What a, what a terrible waste of my time and your time. Not a good use of bombs there, either. Uh, disappointed. Very, very disappointed. So I'm not going to pick this up yet. We're going to go back up this way. We still have a shop coming, which I'm excited about. Maybe we'll buy a tarot card on there. Come on, HP. You know you want it. You know you want to give me the HP. Not quite. Alright, we'll start by blowing this thing up. You can't get both of them in the same bomb. So, Oh, that worked out very nicely for us, actually. Old Bandage, can you pull your fucking weight here, please? Like, it's getting a little ridiculous. Then we'll blow this guy up. Alright, well, at least we got uh, a pretty considerable consumable gain here, but we're low on HP, no question about that. Let's go back, pick up that Eternal Heart so we don't forget it. I know what I'm capable of, and forgetting, uh, forgetting our heart is definitely something that is on that list. This will take us up to permanent 4 HP if we can keep it alive, and we really, really should. Like, it's possible for it to go south, but I would really like it not to. Uh, we could... 
we could benefit from having it. it. Takes us way too long to kill an enemy right now. Which is not, I'm not necessarily complaining, I'm just talking about for the future, a damage upgrade would be very nice. When is it not? But, you know, you know, I shouldn't even say a damage upgrade would be nice. A damage upgrade is essential. Oh. Whether we get it now or uh, or later, the sooner the better, though. Okay, old bandage did pay out there. I think that was old bandage, at least. And another range upgrade, uh, just what the doctor ordered, if the doctor was really bad at their job. I don't think we need a strength card here. I think if we can just keep greed kind of in the fuck corridor, then, you know, we, we pretty much win. Or this will be fine as well. Yeah, acceptable. I kind of wanted to purchase something from this shop, but uh, barring that, I guess. Ah, this is probably better. Strength was working out nicely for us. Death a little bit better on those big rooms. Worse on the bosses, better on the big rooms. Strength might be better, but I like this. So, you know, four room Necronomicon is at least, uh, at least sorts out those big rooms for me that were giving me trouble there. And we're going to be leaving with a decent amount of consumables. Now, the real problem here is just keeping your HP alive. And now, of course, I wish I kept the strength card for this room, but that's okay. If we get hit once, that's our spirit heart down the drain, but we'll get the attack fly back, which will do a ton of damage. So just rely on your free damage for now. Enjoy yourself. And don't make any super mistakes. Super mistakes? Don't make any soup or stew or chowder or pho related mistakes. I know it's not pho, it's pho. Yeah, well, you ever say Paris? It's not Paris, it's Paris. So you gotta, you know, you either gotta be an asshole all the time or you, you can't selectively be an asshole. If you're an asshole, you'll always be an asshole. Push shit out of your mouth. They'll come up with a nickname for you and it's not going away. Man, no deal with the devil on that one, despite no red heart damage. But let's look on the bright side. We picked up 2 HP, and that 2 HP will be uh, a real boon for us. Curse of the Unknown. At this point, I gotta say the Curse of the Unknown is mostly just funny. I have no idea how much HP we have. I think we had 3 plus an Eternal Heart, so let's do the math. That'll take us up to 5 now with the Eternal Heart and the HP that we got. So I'm assuming that we have 5. But how much of it is full? Two? Two and a half, I think. I think we had a half, and both the HP upgrade and the Eternal Heart would fill it. So I think we're at two and a half out of a possible five. One and a half or two now. And, and this, see, here's my solution now. Let's just not get hit. I don't think we ruined our uh, deal with the devil chance. Uh, excuse me? Open his mouth and then change direction. What are you doing? Something's not... Ed! Ed, you broke it. The game's broken. Chubb's not behaving properly. When you put a bomb down and he touches the bomb, he doesn't eat it. He changes directions, Mom. This is okay. Oh, this is good. We could really use these. Like, I'll, I'll sacrifice all my bombs for this. Oh, such good luck. I fucked it up with that, though. Um, oh, I fucked it up with that one, too. But we got it! <laughs> that was just terrible play. However, we, we also got three spirit hearts, so that gives us a much better chance to deal with the devil. And unfortunately, the only time we're going to know if I uh, actually did take red heart damage at that earlier opportunity, presumably, is when uh, we, if I should say, we don't get a deal with the devil. But I really hope we do. All right, a permanent attack fly is a huge help. It's freaking me out because it's running in the opposite direction, but it's all right. Death card coming in handy, uh, on occasion at least. Don't really want to get close to these guys, but I do want to test out our attack fly, and this is a good opportunity for us. Oh my god, bad damage, but we're not going to... We're not going to lose our spirit heart protection. We're going to be totally fine for that, which makes this an extremely big deal. Alright, bait him. Bait him! He's baited. Okay, that gives us a second to get that attack fly in there. And every, like, if you get caught in an attack fly for, like, you know, 90 degrees of the attack fly's rotation, that's a good day for me, man. That's, like, 10% of your HP gone. When I didn't even have to do anything at all to make that happen. Oh, you got caught in, like, 270 degrees that time. That's going to take you down. There's our deal with the devil. Jesus juice, very important here. And Rotten Baby is not great, but it's damage, man. And I can't be picky about that right now. 
I'm not thrilled about it, but it's a start. Now we gotta get realistic, okay? Because we're gonna fight Krampus, and we might only have one more deal with the devil, so we can't really rely on uh, at all our deals with the devil to give us what we need. Like, fuck guppy dreams, man. We're just worried about dreaming in general. We could, I mean, it only takes one good deal with the devil to really turn things around. Oh yeah, we'll take hive mind for sure. And we might as well take mom's purse. We kind of, we need what we can get here, right? Uh, am I, oh, I'm Lord of the Flies now too. I forgot about that. But we might not have a great chance of uh, making anything happen with our deals with the devil here. Just doesn't seem likely to really have a great chance to pay out one way or the other. The keys are nice. It would be nice to have more bombs if we could make it happen, but uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be doable. It's not like we've been paying very close attention to secret rooms as is anyway. Hello, Kate. Welcome back. Your hair looks nice. You got, we both got coffee? Oh my God. This is like some Gift of the Magi type stuff right here. That's, you shouldn't take that as a bad sign, that's a great sign. Great minds think alike. Mostly, I just needed coffee. <laughs> I do love, uh, I do love Guppy's head. And I'm happy to have gotten Guppy's head, of course, and I'm happy to have the flies, especially with Hive Mind. I think it's bullshit that Hive Mind doesn't seem to make our attack fly bigger. Oh, uh, maybe it does, I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell. I shouldn't have talked shit until I was uh, confident, but either way, um, we're gonna stick with blank card death Be mostly because not because of blank card death mostly because of the fact that uh, we could possibly there we go we could possibly get blank card something better than death and that would be very nice because as you can see our death card is kind of reaching like maximum usefulness what do we have here 24 minutes depths one that's how you can tell it's a slow run but the most important thing is that we're still alive here Lord of the Flies, not really a meaningful transformation, but it's something. And we're we're still trucking along, man. This has been a, a run that's been, uh, you know, we're scraping it together from the very start here, but we're still going, so I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> Devs 2, this is, uh, this is a big floor, because it's our last item room and our last shop. If we end up fighting Greed, I'll be super sad about it. One bomb. That helps. Yeah, we got the keys, we might as well. And honestly, one key for two cents in this situation might be okay, especially now that we get that uh, golden key, and we'll now have access to whatever we want to have access to. That requires a key, which is actually a surprisingly narrow subset, but you get the idea. All right, so this is Attack Fly's time to shine. I really can't stress enough how important Attack Fly might end up being for us on this run. Yeah, definitely couldn't shoot the moon on that one. Uh, let's try that. That'll at least knock them all down. And we might have the opportunity to reroll our whole run. And as much as I complain about it, that would be a saving grace right now. This is fine, too. Uh, we'll get two bombs here. But just to be safe, we should uh, push all the stone chests together. It's good. And in fact, we should pick this up. We should have picked it up earlier. But we're still going to get two extra bombs out of that. Uh, I can fly. But I guess I have, golden, I have a golden key, so that's not that big of a deal. And we have Mom's Purse, right, so I should have picked up uh, Burnt Penny to begin with. I forgot that we got that, actually, so that's quite nice. Oh, this is going to be really, really good for our bomb health here. Who would have thought a trinket that gives you bombs being good for your ability to get bombs? I'm a little surprised. Still, it, fair to say that, you know, nothing we've gotten so far is a... Oh, that was bad. Nothing we've gotten so far is a game winner, but... This is helping out a lot, for sure. Gotta keep that Spirit Hearts uh, dream alive. At least, you know, if we get to our shop and we can buy something on our shop, presumably there will be a Spirit Heart in there. That, in hindsight, seems like a really good decision. That worked out very nicely for us. One bomb for like 13 cents and two bombs. Oh, I just, the the gravity, or the, the lack of friction took me a little too hard there. Bad luck. Well, bad play. Then bad luck screwed me. But the bad play put me in a position where I could get screwed by bad luck, so, you know. I can't really blame RNG for that one. Good stuff. Stay on the move here. This is the last room that we need to be super scared about, unless that was greed, and it is, so... 
Rotten Babies flies, basically the star of the show, along with Attack Fly. We're just here to... We're, we're, we're basically their Isaac's heart. <laughs> you know, I'm always like, I'm dealing the damage and Isaac's heart's taking the damage. That's pretty much the situation we're in right now. I'm the one taking the damage, and I'm not the one dealing the damage. Work with me, work with me. Okay, okay, here's what we do. We leave the room... Put down the death card. Reroll everything. Once. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. We're still Lord of the Flies. That's not going to go away. And then we just take our blank card back. We use D100 once to completely re... Oh, we got Stompy here. Uh, we use D100 once to completely reroll our run. Now we got like Mom's Eye, Super High Damage Tears, Dry Baby. Little chub, sissy long legs. We'll lose hive mind, but that's not that big of a deal, all things considered here. Our tears, they look like the slow roll tears, except I can't control them. So I gotta go fight the boss here. We still have low HP. And that's not great. Uh, but we got a pretty good deal with the devil shot here, as long as I don't take damage. Where am I gonna get a spirit heart at anyway, you know? Hmm. Our damage is okay. It's a little bit less than I thought it would be. But we got uh, maybe like... Too slow to get out of the way of that one. Uh, what do we have? Like, it looks like the Parasite, but it might just be like Fear or Charm Shot. And then there's like a Mom's Contact on it sometimes. I'm a little confused. That's alright. Polaroid. Blank card stars. We could teleport on our next floor. We might want to do so. I mean, we could have done a raid there to get some of our HP back. I'm thinking it's not going to be super necessary. Oh, this is a real disappointment. So now we have no deal with the Devil here either. Definitely Mom's Contact. Definitely Calm and Cold. It looks like the Parasite, but it doesn't do what you would expect the Parasite to do. Our Spiders are doing so much damage. This is a rare example of like a D100 that neither ruined nor... Um, oh, we can fly, right. Neither ruined nor saved this run. But it, it's just a, kind of a fun reroll. Like, I'm, I'm totally happy with it. I'm trying to teleport as much as possible just to... Just to do something with it. You know, I, I think we can't get to the error room via that way. Which is a good thing for us on this floor. Because we would force ourselves to go into Shoal when we have the Polaroid. I do prefer this to the damage we were doing before. Before, we were in a very tight spot. Now we can one-shot enemies, and that's a position we were not in before. So, I'm happy about that. And a Tears upgrade is not going to hurt. Our rate of fire is pretty low. I'm thinking we probably got... It's either Eve's Mascara or... Um, it could be Polyphemus, and we're just not noticing because it's uh, also... Piercing shots through, like, Sagittarius or Cupid's Arrow. It's very hard to tell. Petrified poop. Well, I don't have uh, mom's purse anymore. Honestly, I gotta stick with uh, I gotta stick with what we've got. However, I would very much like to take the I would very much like to take the goat hoof. Oh, that's just stupid. That's my own fault, but I'm I'm very unhappy about it. Might as well pop two of diamonds. Maybe we have money equals power. This would be a way to find out. Gotta stay away from these. Fucking rocks that uh, promise you HP and then give you PH. I'm surprisingly proud of that joke as long as you don't require me to explain it scientifically. I know what the peach scale uh, p <laughs> peach scale. I know what the PH scale is, but how it relates to that joke, um, I couldn't tell you. I guess I'm too basic. I don't know what that means. Kids these days, explain to me. This should be a, a new startup. Kids these days, where people who are like 17 will explain new fads and technology and words to people who are like 25 and above. I'm not saying if you're 25, you're out of touch. I'm saying that, for me, has been the age where I've been like, oh shit, I'm like really getting out of touch. Maybe getting out of touch is not that big of a deal, man. It feels alright to get out of touch. I mean, you get out of touch with uh, society, you get a little bit more in touch with yourself, you know? Plus, I have so much time to read InTouch Magazine now. It's a really quality publication. 
Is this gonna be what we're gonna want to take? I mean, this seems pretty good. I know I've stuck hard and, you know, I've been beating that, uh... That drum. Just walked right over those rocks I should not have. I've been beating that drum for blank card, but... I really feel like, uh, Tammy's head could be the absolute savior for us in this run. Plus, it just looks kind of beautiful, doesn't it? Maybe I'm mistaken. But that's okay. We're gonna try it out here either way. Bad trip is much better than the stars. That's like if shit hit, totally hits the fan on this run, we got something to fall back on. I can't believe we went so far in the wrong way that we ended up a What did I get hit by? I must have crushed a rock, so that's on me. Um, that sucks, man. Well, I didn't have a deal with the devil chance anyway, now that I think about it, because we're on an XL floor, so I should not beat myself up over that one. Just try to find the boss fight instead. One of the, uh, assuming the boss fight exists on this floor. I'm thinking it probably does. What the heck happens if we take Ringworm and Tammy's head? I gotta try. I gotta take it, man. Bloody Penny could end up actually saving this run, but the implications of having Wiggle Worm are too great for me to ignore. Sometimes a man, you know, they have a higher calling in life than just, you know, strategic use. Plus, our shots, they kind of look like they're dancing, don't they? Like, I like to shake it. I like to shake it and I shake it and I shake it. I don't know what that song is, but it's my it's my go-to dance song. Balls of Steel, useful. I'm going to take that as a sign that I'm making the right decisions on this run. Making good choices. I think, actually, allow me to maybe bullshit you a little bit. I think that the fact that they kind of like oscillate like that actually gives them like a greater effective range. Not effective range, so it gives them more coverage. Like the shots don't travel further, but they do travel wider. And I think that actually gives them a better ability to hit enemies. I might be completely off base there. I'm not sure though, like... It seems like it's working out pretty nicely. And that fight was over very quickly. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Shot speed down doesn't hurt me that much, as long as our range is still half decent, and, um... You know, the, the, the big triangles, the Doritos of Doom here, traveling slowly doesn't really bother me. Because the longer they're, you know, on the field, the more times the enemies can actually run into them, I guess. Or the more enemies can run into them, at the very least. I think we should have a win here, and this is one that I've worked for, so I'm not going to apologize for any of the overpowered stuff we may or may not get on the chest. Curse of the Unknown. We've, we've just been rolling, like, full curses this whole game, so... I'll just use, um... I'll use... Oh, thank you! That coffee's better than my coffee, because my coffee's in a bag, and your coffee is brewed in a cup. That is much more immediately helpful to me. Um... I'm gonna try to break him a little bit here, and then we'll use it. Guess that was unnecessary. Oh, this... I sneezed. Um... Yeah, this this has been one of the hardest Eden runs we've ever had, believe it or not. It doesn't necessarily look like it now, but it, it doesn't look overpowered now. It just it looks average in a weird way, like Christian, Christian, like Kristen Shawl. See, there was the sh sound in there, which is the impetus for that, anyway. Um, and that's not meant as an insult to Kristen Kristen Shawl at all. Well, he was talking. I mean, that was a 19-year-old bald man. Not trying to shit on anybody else's personal appearance and uh, the, you know, traditionality of it or not. That's probably not a word, but you know what it means, so who am I to say? Shakespeare made up a bunch of words, too. Nobody calls him an idiot. Uh, probably some people do. Uh, I don't think that without, like, let's put it this way. Without permanent Polaroid invincibility, I don't see a great reason to go for, uh, to go for uh, the virus. I see a great reason to go for the pact. Huge pickup for us. Damage and tears. Yeah, I will absolutely pay whatever you want, basically. I will pay you whatever you want for whatever you have. More bad trips. I can see forever. Range down. That's not a big deal. Although, with the shot speed downs and the range downs, they're starting to add up. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, we could just bomb our way out of here. That might not be the worst idea, honestly, but I think we can... Probably killed death relatively easily as well. Easy. So slow, but I don't really care because we're we're powerful. 
I can't believe we got hit there. That's Wiggle Worm maybe not working out in our favor that time. High Priestess or Bad Trip? We gotta roll Bad Trip. Bad Trip is our Sun card, you know? Like, once every... Or one every, like, three Rebirth runs ended with me with a Sun card on the chest. That's probably an exaggeration, but I think it's only a slight one. The Sun card became, like, you know, public enemy number one for carrying us back in the day. Bad Trip is that for us right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can already fly and we have Ouija board. I didn't think that this made us Guppy, but I just wanted more golden chests, man. And I guess the chance to become Guppy. Uh, why not? We could afford it HP-wise. I can't get over the, the danciness of our shots right now. It's nice, though. Um, okay, I mean, I probably should have picked up those bombs. There's not a great case that you can make for not picking them up. That's good, just keep spawning some more flies. Once we get to the, or some more spiders, I should say. Once we get to the second phase here, shit's gonna get real. Get in there and dump that Tammy's headshot in. There we go, so we, we skipped like the entire second phase. Now it's all about hoping that we don't get a fucking curse. Or if we do get a curse, it's Curse of Darkness. On the chest, that is. Let's do this, man. I'm gonna go back for those bombs. I've had too many runs in my lifetime where, like, one or two bombs made the difference. If we get, like, sad bombs and accidentally end up picking up soy milk or something like that. Actually, sad bomb and soy milk would be a terrible combination. Not good at all. Good? Decent? Not today. <laughs> Did we not just check if Cursed Eye works with Tammy said? Fuck it, maybe I'll take it. Oh, I I can't resist. I got a problem. But I thought, wait. Yeah, we tested it and it doesn't work. Okay, so yeah, I actually am an idiot. But look at how cool our shots look. This is the sweetest shot we've had in a long time. So I'm not gonna apologize, man. This is a this is a cool run. And if nothing else, it should be cemented in my head now that uh, cursed eye Tammy's head does not work, even though chocolate milk Tammy's head works and chocolate milk um, jar of tears works. Seems a little arbitrary to me, but so be it, I guess. Oh, Northern Lion, you forgot the nickel. Oh, I wouldn't say I've been missing it. I didn't say you missed it. I said you forgot it. <laughs> Lullaby and good night. Uh, we do not want the yum heart as items go. It's in the bottom third. Situationally useful. It is surpassed by the candles. I'm not going to continue. There's If there was a meteor joke there, I could go for it. But that was just one of those, you know... Swing for the fences, hope for the best. It didn't work out, though. I got the one. It, was, it didn't even know it was dead. It was still spawning an enemy when it got killed. The animations got all jacked up there for a second. 16 in the clip and one in the hole. Northern Lion is about to make some enemies turn cold. Now they're dropping in yelling it's a tad bit late. Tammy's head and NL had to regulate. Whistling always comes across great on the microphone. Alright, so you're dead. I think with rubber cement, like, these shots would hit, bounce off the wall, come back, and hit multiple times. Might be mistaken. We're probably not going to get rubber cement. We actually haven't had it in a little while. Which is probably about the length of time you would expect to go between, you know, getting an item multiple times, considering how many items are in the freaking game. I'm just saying. I, would, I, would, I always welcome rubber cement, so... Uh, to not have it in a little while, you know, it, it hurts a little bit more than not having it as recently as some other kind of more boring items. I thought he was going to get me there. So we got two items coming up, Rubber Cement Man. We just asked for it. Well, Volatar Sticky Feet is pretty good. Forget Me Now is, is very interesting. I think we can afford to do it. Why not, right? I can't complain about rubber cement and then forgo a chance to pick up some more items, even when, you know, we definitely have the keys necessary to do it. We're killing a lot of rooms in one hit anyway. Like, that's the most difficult room for us. Oh, Spoon Man is so good. Oh, but then we lose Tammy's head. Oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry, Tammy's head. I had to do it. Curse of the Maze, not that big of a deal. Tech 2, HP, Samson's Chain, Hot Bombs. We're getting a lot of bomb synergy. Hot Bombs. Uh, I, I do want, even though we have Cursed Eye, 
and piercing shots already. I do want tech 2 with this, because tech 2 plus spoonbender is just cool. Even though it does lower our damage, I think it's made up for because we'll be hitting a lot more often, at least presumably. And if we're not, well, fuck it, what does it matter? I just wanted to see what our bombs look like. They're going to be pretty potent. We got Mega Toxic... Oh, that looks neat. Uh, mega Toxic... Uh... Hot Bombs. Hot Bombs. Cricket's Head? Did we already get Cricket's Head? Telepathy for dummies. We absolutely don't need that. Yeah, this is still quite strong. Even with the 35% uh, the damage decrease. I have not even come close to getting hit, by my own estimation, admittedly. But I've not even come close to getting hit since uh, picking up Cursed Eye, so... It's our last bomb synergy except for Sad Bombs, I think. Oh no, we don't have Homing Bombs yet, but we're, we're up there, man. We had Mr. Mega! Or did I have Mr. Boom and I got confused? I think you can get Mr. Mega twice, as long as you're, um... As long as it comes from those bosses, like that room right there. Or earlier in the game, to be fair, as well. Um, anyway. Death should be easy enough. Mom's contact technology freezing is so amazing here. That's Dad's key. You're gonna make me fight Mega Satan twice in a row? I'll, I'll do it. I'm just saying. Oh, okay, so that guy got frozen before he even entered the level. I'll fight him! I'm just saying, game. You're pushing your luck a little bit. You gotta give me a little break. You're working me too hard. I have to call the CEO. Uh, I guess why am I even continuing here? Let's just go fight Mega Satan. That's as absurd as it gets for a run. Where where is the Mega Satan fight? Oh, I already took all the items, so it's got to be back here. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. Cursed Eye versus Mega Satan. Not easy, man. That's not an easy one for us, but uh, I got high hopes. I'm trying to use some bombs here effectively because, you know, why not? And if we want to just roll a full charge and thus not have uh, not have a risk of teleporting, we can just use our technology two shot, which is also quite potent, as you can see. Let's focus on death and see how long it takes. Look, not not the quickest we've ever done, but it's not that bad. And whenever possible, I want to throw in like a hot bomb over here, because he's gonna put his hand down in it, and that'll like destroy his hand in one hit. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh, it's majestic, like a Jim Carrey film. Two of these jabronis. Pretty much no chance. So fuck the normal streak, man. We got a Mega Satan streak going now. That's the real streak. How many times have you killed Mega Satan in a row? He's the true final boss, didn't you know? Okay. We're almost done with the first phase of this. Not quite as much damage as we had last time. Although... If we had stuck with Tammy's head and not taken Tech 2, that might be different. I don't need to make excuses, though. I mean, they're both my runs. It's the song Fergie and the Black Eyed Peas should have written. Really good bomb there, actually. Let's try it again. Mo I, don't, I don't care about the explosion. I actually... He, did he consume my bomb? I don't care about the explosion. I just want the fire after the explosion to do its job. So I'm just going to focus on getting that Tech 2 shot in there right now. Focal point is getting very, very close. Yeah, I had a feeling that uh, Dry Baby probably couldn't go too long without getting hit there. I don't really care if I get hit here. Dry Baby getting hit as well. We're like, we're super done with this. Let's just not teleport. Let's just win it right now. That has got to be close to doing it. His face is all beat up. And that's going to be another win right there. I guess I'm feeling good about that one. It was weird, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.